He's one of the world's leading physicists, the author of more than 700 international journal papers, the recipient of Australia's highest civilian order, and now set to become president of the Australian Academy of Science. I never imagined that uh, when I came here with a, in a two-month-old baby and a two-year contract, uh, one day I'll be elected to the Academy Fellowship, and then also one day I become a president of the Academy. It's really, truly humbling. Humility is something many associate with distinguished professor Chenapati Jagadish. His life started in a small rural village in southern India. It so happened that I studied in front of a kerosene lamp till I finished my year seven. At that time, it was just part of life. He moved in with his maths teacher in a neighbouring village to focus on high school before studying physics and electronics in the late 1970s. But after completing his PhD at the University of Delhi, he was keen for international experience. I used to go to the library every weekend and then note down all the advertisements in these magazines and then I used to apply for any position which I thought is really relevant to me. And then I had more than 300 rejection letters. But Professor Jagadish says having grown up in a farming community, resilience was already second nature. You have gone through so many ups and downs in life, and then you, know, you really are not afraid of uh, another failure. In fact, these days I give talks to young students uh, all over the world. The title of my talk is The Failures Are Pathway to Success. And his successes have been remarkable. Since joining the Australian National University more than 30 years ago, he has pioneered some of the world's smallest lasers. His research has widespread applications, from making flexible solar cells to improving treatments for dementia. Professor Jagadish has scientific collaborators the world over. Science is always global. We always need to think about what is happening in other parts of the world. We can collaborate with anybody because we speak the language of science. That language of science is something he intends to promote widely as president of the Academy. My job is to really enable science. We need to make sure that the public, as well as policymakers, are aware of how science is embedded in everything which we are doing today. Professor Jagadish will work closely with the Academy's chief executive, Anna Maria Arabia, who believes he is uniquely positioned to inspire not just our nation's leaders, but the next generation of scientists. Jagadish is inspirational on many levels and is able to bring with him others in advancing the academy and in advancing science. He can do that because he's deeply respected as a scientist and as an individual, and because he draws on his own personal background. Professor Jagadish is the first Australian of Indian heritage to take on the role and will become president in May 2022. It doesn't matter how you look and which part of the world you came from, how difficult your life has been in Australia, the opportunities are abound. And if you work hard and smart, and then you believe in yourself, you can achieve anything in life.